In today's video, I'm going to show you how I take notes from articles that I read on the internet and turn them into my own unique knowledge and insight. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos about how to build your digital systems for productivity, knowledge, and creativity. And today we're talking about note taking, specifically about my workflow uh, for taking notes from articles I read on the internet. So apart from books and podcasts, articles are one of the main ways that I consume knowledge for pleasure, for growth and for personal development. And so I want to make sure that I have the best possible workflow to get as much as I can out of those articles and then not just kind of like save them and file them away, but actually create notes that are useful and usable and help me to actually grow and become better. So in this video, I want to show you my workflow for doing that, specifically why I put an emphasis on reading things now instead of saving them for later. Secondly, I'm going to talk my, about my spark highlighting process, which helps me to really focus on uh, the things that spark me rather than trying to save everything. And thirdly, what I do with all of those notes once they are saved in my note taking system. So let's dive in. Now, before we get started, let me just say my main purpose for reading articles is for my own personal growth, creativity and inspiration. So if you have to read articles for things like academic or schooling, you may have to adapt what I say for your own particular purpose. So my whole process hinges around three apps that I use for three different processes in this workflow. So firstly, for reading and highlighting, I use an app called Matter, which is basically a reading and highlighting and save it later app uh, for collecting and organizing all of those highlights into my systems. I use Readwise and for writing and thinking and organizing all of those notes, I use Tana. So let's jump into those three processes and I'll show you how they work. The first step in this workflow is reading and highlighting. And basically how this works is that when I find an article on the internet, I basically have a look, I skim through it, I see, is this worth reading? And I decide to read it now. Okay, I used to save a lot of articles to read later. And basically my pocket app just became a graveyard for really great articles that I never read. And so what I decided is that if something is worth reading, it's worth reading now if I have the time. And so all I do is I use the Matter extension on Chrome. I can just highlight something on the web and press save highlight and it goes straight through Readwise into Tana and I can deal with it later. And so this makes the workflow really, really quick and easy to be able to read an article right now, um, you know, highlight whatever I need to highlight in it, take a quick note and then go from there. Now there's a lot of other apps that can do this as well. Readwise Reader does it great. They have a Chrome extension. You can highlight in the web. You can save things for later. Glasp does this fantastically. I've used Glasp for years and really, really love it. It doesn't matter what app you use. I like Matter uh, for a whole lot of different reasons. If you want to know why, leave me a comment below and I will create a specific video on all the reasons that I love to use Matter as a read it now, read it later um, app. So the second part of this process is my spark highlighting process. And so this works really simply. I bring up the article uh, and most of my articles I read on the web. Sometimes I will not have the time and so I'll save it for later. And it looks exactly the same if I'm reading it from the Matter app on my phone or my iPad as it does on the web. Okay. So I'm basically looking for one thing sparks. A spark is basically to me like that moment of inspiration, like, you know, when something bold, like it looks like it's bold, it stands out to you. You think, oh, that was interesting. All I do is I just start reading. Um, so I would read through an article like this. Um, and as soon as I find something that sparks me, like something that really jumps off the page, something that makes me want to think, something that makes me want to kind of explore further, those are the things that I then start to highlight. This really sparked me. I think a lot about information overload. Um, and so I'm going to highlight that. Just right click and then just this matter here, I just press highlight. I can click on it and then I, I get this little toolbar here. And so all I do is I say take a note and this is where I then um, leave myself a breadcrumb note. So I try and highlight as much as I can so that it creates context so I don't have to come back. And then I want to leave myself a little breadcrumb note just for my future self to say like, well, why did I even save this? You know how sometimes you save things and you're like, 
I don't even know what I was thinking then. Um, so I want to just kind of put down what I'm thinking. Um, and so for this particular one, I like this concept of your PKM as a way to turn down the noise and turn up the signal. Okay. Um, and so then I just go save and we're done. All right. And I would just then keep kind of going through this article and finding more of those kind of spark moments. So Readwise is my app of choice for gathering up all of the notes that I take from all of the different places, including articles, including books, including podcasts, including everything, and get them into my note taking app. And so once I've done that, I know that all of my notes are going to be in Tana waiting for me for when I go and review them. And this workflow just works for me because what I can do is I can be fully present reading the article, just really immersing myself in it, you know, doing all of that. And then I can trust that Readwise is going to get those notes to where they need to go in Tana and I do not have to worry. So the last part of this workflow is for me the most fun and that is actually having a place and a time to review all those notes so they actually become usable. So you implement them. So the sparks actually grow and all of that inspiration that you collect on a daily basis is there for you to actually go and use. Once you collect a note, once you highlight it, once you give it a breadcrumb note, really it needs something extra and that's your thinking. It needs thinking, it needs time, it needs space to actually develop into your own knowledge. If you really want to stop this collecting information and start actually building your knowledge and your unique knowledge, then you have to take all of those notes one step further and start to think about them. And for that, I just have a daily writing practice. Every morning I get up, I make a coffee and I sit down and I open my Spark inbox. And so all of those notes end up here in my Spark inbox, which is basically one live search where I just find everything that is tagged with Readwise or with a Spark note. And that way I don't have to worry about going and finding them somewhere. This Spark inbox lives right on my day page and I can literally open it up every morning and just dive in. Now I don't treat it like an inbox. I'm not looking to process everything down to zero. I treat it more like a lucky dip. Uh, so at the top, you see there's only one rule, follow the sparks. And that's what I do. I just basically scroll around and find something that sparks me. So for instance, this is the article that I was just reading uh, online. So if I open this up, you can see all the details are here um, that Read Bias has brought in, but all, this is what I'm really interested in, which is the highlights. And so because I took the time while reading to highlight, to give me context and to leave a breadcrumb note for my future self, when I'm diving into my spark inbox every morning, I don't have to be thinking, well, why did I highlight this? The note is there and it's ready for me to take it that one step further. All of this coming in for me is information. It's information I've captured from the internet. And my job is then to take the information and to look for insight and create insight that then leads to that becoming knowledge. And so there's a lot of different, you know, technical information around taking notes and connecting and all of that. But really all I'm looking to do is just explore what's in my head. And I want to explore the idea. I want to write more about it. I want to be curious. And I would say that if you're starting a note taking habit, just start with curiosity. That's all you have to do, okay? Don't worry so much about the categorization, about the organization of it or anything like that. Just start by getting curious about ideas and then write about those. And so I find the way that I get curious is by writing. So I would review these notes. I would say, okay, I've got the context. So this is actually the highlight that I took. I'll usually write like a definitive statement. So this is like a title for what I'm about to explore. And so for me, this is your PKM is um, a way to turn down the noise and turn up the signal. So that becomes my title of my note. And then I start to explore that. I, I start to kind of maybe outline some things. So I'm thinking about like PKM as a like personal curation tool. 
um uh, there's there's that kind of thing i think there's this whole idea of um uh like filtering information um i like this idea of like turning down the noise how do we do that in our systems um and maybe okay that leads me to think about like um like creating views that help you focus um, and then uh, turning up the signal. So uh, turning up the signal. And I really kind of want to um, explore this. So what does this mean or look like? All right. And sometimes I'll outline like that. Other times I'll just start writing, you know, this is interesting because da, 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 da. And so this eventually, the more I start to think and write about it, um, will turn into what I call an atomic note. Um, and so all I do at the top is I tag it with atomic idea. Oops. Okay. And that then goes into my atomic idea list um, and I can connect it up to other ideas. But the most important thing is I try and take the original highlight and breadcrumb note and then turn that into some kind of atomic idea the, the difference between the two is that the first is the information. The second is my insight and knowledge that I'm bringing to that particular idea. And so this is probably the most important part to me of the whole process. It's not the technical parts of how do you write notes? How do you take them? What apps do you use or anything like that? It's the habit and the ritual that you build around thinking and writing and creating knowledge not just collecting stuff, but actually thinking through, what do you think about this? How does this connect into something else you already know? So I hope you like this video on my workflow for taking notes from articles I read on the internet and turning them into my own unique knowledge. I have been doing this process for the past three years and I can absolutely say it has changed my life. It has made me far more confident. I have more ideas. I am confident to share more ideas and people ask me my opinion on all sorts of things because of that confidence. So don't just highlight and file things away, but actually take it one step further. Think, write and create your own unique insight and knowledge on the ideas that you are collecting. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I create videos like this every week on the systems that you need for productivity, knowledge and creativity.